Hello everyone, it's Ellie. I apologize for the weird noises. I am in the elevator because I don't want to vlog in front of the people. Um, I am going to the thrift, st thrift store. I had kind of a rough day getting ready for finals and stuff, so I'm gonna have just about an hour of retail therapy to make myself feel better. So hopefully I'll take you with me unless there are too many people in the store and then I feel like it's kind of not really right to film them because I don't want them to be on camera if they don't want to be. But no matter what, I will show you what I got and try to film in the dressing room. Okay everyone, I just arrived at the thrift store. I have a couple things that I am looking for in this trip. I need a black slip dress. Ah! My car lights turned off. No! Okay. I need a black slip dress to go under this uh, cherry print thrift dress. Cherry print dress that I bought on uh, Vinted, which is like a thrifting app. Um, I am looking for chunky sweaters, like hopefully with like abstract print. Like I really like those dad grandpa sweaters. Um, I also like to buy sweaters for my dad um, <laughs> at the thrift store because you know it's a perfect place to get dad sweaters. Um, always boys jeans are a place that I score. Um, you know like they look like mom jeans but they're from the little boys section. I never score from the regular jeans section I feel like. Um, and I want to find some like interesting book today. Yeah, that's it. Starting off on an incredible note, I've got this super cute, super unique top and mom jeans that fit perfectly, both from the little boys section. I wouldn't necessarily wear this together, but I think this is super cute. Next score a really cute Marilyn shirt that's embroidered, really good quality for $2.50. These pants are so cool. I love the colorway. I love the fit. They're so high-waisted and they have pockets. Little boys section again. And it's only $5.99. Okay, I found the black slip that I needed. It's perfect length, it's perfect fit, but it's $6, which I think is a little expensive for a slip. But I'm gonna get it anyway, because I really do need it. And I think it would be really nice for layering. Like, it doesn't look bad as a regular dress, because it's not see-through, it's good length, good cut. Okay, yeah. so we're in the try-on. I got a bunch of blazers, so I'm gonna go rapid-fire style, one after the other. Blazer one, success. Blazer two, really cute, but too tight. Blazer three, this one is so nice. It feels such good quality, I love it. Blazer four, too small in the arms. Blazer six, real wool, so it's nice quality, but super itchy and not on sale. Blazer seven, not on sale, but my favorite by far. It's such a nice icy gray, so I have to get okay, it. Okay, the blazer, the last one that I tried on that's not on sale has a stain on it. I can't tell if I'm going to be able to get that out, but honestly, I love the color so much, I'm going to get it anyway. This coat is so beautiful. It's corduroy, my favorite color, burgundy. Oh, okay. I don't really need it, but I'm going to get it. I have to. It's so beautiful. And it has a hood, which is kind of rare for this style of coat. Hey, we've got a lot of successes from round one. Let's go to round two and try to find some, like, abstract grandpa sweaters. This is definitely a dad sweater, but it's just not soft. Super oversized, but super Super, super cute. Love it. I love this on the hanger, but I just don't love it on. I don't know, I just don't think it's that flattering. Okay, so this one's the opposite. I actually didn't love it on the hanger and I love it on. I think it's so cute and it's so soft. The perfect little pink sweater. I love it. But this is definitely more what I was going for, something kind of different, but I just don't love this on. I call this lumberjack chic. I just think it's so comfy and I love it with these pants and of course my Air Force Ones. Hello everyone! Whew, I am back! By the way, I'm Ellie, in case you didn't know that. I 
I'm back with another thrift haul. Thrift haul I definitely shouldn't have done. But you know, final season got to me. I was a little stressed and thrifting always cheers me up. So I got a mountain of clothes. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is probably one of my favorite things in this haul is this sweater that I'm wearing right now. It's super, super oversized. Just nice yellow soft. It's like an extra large, but I love the way it looks tucked in. These jeans actually I thrifted on this trip too. They're little boys jeans. Very straight leg. I love them. This was $6.99. The jeans were $6.99. No, $5.99. And the jeans were $5.99. And I made a really cute outfit out of it for my final exam that I just took this morning. Okay, well, next thing that I got is definitely the biggest steal. Like, the best quality for the money. It's a Marilyn Terrapins shirt, and these things run maybe $30 in the bookstore because it's embroidered, so it's really nice quality. I got it for $2.50, and it's my size. Heck yeah! Okay, the next thing that I got is one of the things that I went there like looking for almost exactly, which is like these kind of like sweatery type tops. Oh, backwards. These like sweatery type tops that are thick for winter and good for layering. This one I thought was really cool because it has this cool arm detail. It's like a little different. I've never really seen something like it. Basically, I'm loving everything that my dad would wear right now. <laughs> um, oh, and this was $3.99. Very fair. Um, let's see. Oh, these pants were so cool. They're like, they're like Adidas pants style, but they're not Adidas pants. They've got gold, white, and black striping down the sides. They're super soft. They've got this really cool pocket detail in the back. I, I'm a sucker for hardware. I love hardware. Um, pocket in the front. Um, even the lacing has gold details in it, which I think is just so cool. And they're really soft. Like It's like a really nice soft material. It's not like fluffy soft, but it's comfortable soft. And they were super, super high-waisted, and that's what I loved most about them. These were $6.00. There's that. Oh, I did get another sweater. Oh my god. I got so many things that I don't even remember what I got. That's how you know it's a problem. And here's the thing. I was only there for like an hour and a half because the store closed and I got there super late. So if I had had a chance to look at the rest of the store, I probably would have come home with another bag the size of this. But here's the thing that makes me so mad. If I had gone one day sooner, all of this would have been 50% off, but I couldn't because I was studying and like doing my project and my essay for my final, being a good student, but I paid all the monies for all of this stuff, but it's so worth it because I love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, rant over. I got a pink sweater, kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now, but it's not so oversized. It's like, like, I would say regular size. Like it's not fitted and it's not oversized. It's like kind of in the middle. It's baby pink. Um, I bought this because I bought the most beautiful baby pink sweater the other day on Vinted online thrifting and it was too small and it was like heartbreaking to me. So I bought this one for $5. Baby pink is a color that I love right now. I'm kind of digging the pastels and so there's that. Um, let's see what else I got. Ooh, okay. Now this is kind of TMI but this is probably the coolest thing I got. It's a slip skirt. I was looking for a black slip dress, which I mentioned in the video, and I did find one, but this is a slip skirt with, like, I don't know what this is called, but it's like little jelly things to grip to your legs so that it doesn't come up, and I love that it's lace on the bottom because I wear a lot of stuff that comes up. So basically, I do Latin dance, and I like to look cute when I dance, but I'm not trying to flash everybody when I dance. So this is perfection to wear under all my skirts and dresses that I dance in and it even has like it's like a bodysuit underneath I'm not like built-in underwear but like built-in underwear I, I, I would have bought it if it wasn't new anyway six dollars kind of pricey for this but I think I'll get a lot of use out of it considering how often my clothes don't cooperate there's that um, and then next is the slip dress that I bought this is a beautiful black I want to say like it's silky, but it's probably not silk. Let's see if it has a tag. Nah, it does not have a tag. It's probably not real silk, but anyway, beautiful black slip dress to wear under the cherry dress that I thrifted on Vinted. Um, I haven't shown that, but maybe I, maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know where it went, so <laughs> I'm not gonna show that right now. 
probably in my closet like a responsible person. But anyway, this would actually look really cute layered over turtlenecks, um, layered over a t-shirt, or even honestly, like I would wear this by itself with like a cardigan or something because it's really nice cut as I showed in the try on portion, not try on, the dressing room portion of the vlog. Uh, let's see what else I got. Okay, here is what I called my lumberjack shirt. I like this. It's soft. It's comfortable. That's what I'm going for. It was $3.50. Pay the glory. This is literally something I would buy for my dad, but you know what? I'm just trying to be comfortable and tuck things into my mom jeans, and you know, that's a look to me. All right. Next thing I actually bought for my dad. $6 sweater. I think this will be really nice on him. I don't think he has any burnt orange. Um, what brand is it? I don't know this brand. Era. It's 100% cotton though, so I think this would be really nice for him. I always buy my dad sweaters. Um, let's see what else I got. Ooh, okay. Now this thing, I think this looks so ugly just like here looking at it. But then when I tried it on, I thought it looked so cute. Like it was just like flattering on my skin tone maybe and my hair. Like something about it I just really liked. Um, it's really soft. And I was looking for like some sort of printed sweater. So this kind of did it for me. Um, I don't know where the price tag went. I'm assuming. Oh, also it smells really good. Whoever washed this like used really scented stuff. Um, I don't know where the price tag is, but I'm pretty sure it was a good deal. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have even picked it up in the first place because I thought it was so ugly on the hanger. But yeah, I'm excited to wear that. The other sort of printed sweater I got is this cardigan which I thought, okay, so if you watch some of my other thrift hauls, I have this sage um, turtleneck that I picked up from another thrift store, and I thought it would look so good under this for kind of like a monochromatic look, but not exactly. I This is like so crunchy to me, and I'm like emulating crunchy style lately, even though I'm not really naturally that crunchy of a person, if you know what I mean. My sweet mate is, and I love her very much, and I think like that style is just so effortless and nice and comfortable, and I like it. Anyway, this was $3.99, so I figured if it doesn't work out, I can always give it to my roommate. It's not a big deal, money-wise, but I actually did really like it on when I tried it on. It didn't show a portion of that because the store was closing, but I did really like it. Um, all right, everything else I think is blazers and my coat. My coat. I was really happy about this coat. It has a hood and it's corduroy and it's burgundy which is like my favorite color and it has it's like a pea coat but it's corduroy not suede I was gonna say suede um it's Sonoma which means it's really comfortable um and it was $6.50 I haven't really gone in here with the intention of buying something like this I wanted a longer coat that I was looking for um like a professional coat but I couldn't resist it so it just seems like it's meant for me I don't know, I really like it. It's really soft and nice, and it's lined with like, it's really nicely lined. Like, it's thick. It's gonna keep me warm. So yeah, okay, I'll justify it all I want, but I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I love it. Okay, the next several things are blazers. Um, I probably didn't need any more blazers considering I don't have an internship right now, but then I noticed that a bunch of them were like 350, and then I was like, but I'm not growing. I'll be a professional one day. And so I just looked through them and then I couldn't help it. And then I found a bunch that I liked. Okay. All right, all right, let's do this. I showed these all in my vlog, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but there's this one. I think this was called Houndstooth or Glencheck or something like that. I'm confused because I always thought it was Houndstooth and then someone came up to me the other day and told me this about this print called Glencheck, so I don't know the difference. If you do, please let me know. This was $4 from H&M. H&M is my favorite place to get blazer, blazers other than the thrift store just because they fit me so nicely and they're pretty good quality for the price. Um, oh, this one's so nice. This is Banana Republic for $4 and I didn't have a tan one. And this is just such like a smart cut. I love it. All right, now this one, this one was the Splurge. It was $7.50, which I think is kind of a lot considering these were four dollars and I didn't really need them in the first place and it also is the one that has the scene on it the gray blazer that I showed in my video uh the portion where I was in the dressing room I'm gonna go try to get this out and see if it comes out I really hope it does otherwise I'm still gonna wear it it's really cute it's express maybe that's why it's a little more expensive 
but I couldn't help it. It was so nice. Um, let's see. I did not get to check out the books this time because the store closed on me. But I'm probably gonna go back again like today or tomorrow because I'm addicted. It's right down the road, and that's my reward for getting through finals. And that's also my study break when I'm trying to do work for finals. <laughs> Because I only had one exam and then I had like a ton of essays and projects. So I finished my exam this morning. Yay. And then I have my projects and essays to do. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much. I hope you enjoy my thrift hauls. I hope you enjoy the fact that I'm trying to make more sustainable, better life choices. And yeah, give me a like, give me thumbs thumbs up, thumbs up. Subscribe down below. 